Hi, I'm Jill Nottini, AHIM's Vice President of Communications and Marketing. Today, in our second Leading the Way value series discussion, we're talking about product safety. This topic is top of mind for AHIM members so that it doesn't have to be for consumers. With me today is Wayne Morris, AHIM's Vice President of Standards and Technical Operations, and Jennifer Cleary, AHIM's Director of Regulatory Affairs. I'm going to start today by talking to Jennifer about AHIM's approach to safety. Jennifer, could you comment on this? Jill, AHIM members feel that it's critical to provide safe products that not only assist consumers but enhance their lives and provide more time for family and other priorities. AHIM members are committed to demonstrating leadership in this area as an industry and supporting the most effective and comprehensive consumer product safety system in the world. Well, let's talk about some of our recent efforts. Sure. Over the past year, AHIM convened a group of senior product engineers to provide suggestions for enhancements on product safety standards in the U.S. and Canada. As a result of this collaborative initiative, so far AHIM has submitted 10 safety standards proposals to UL and CSA. We regularly seek feedback and support for our work from the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission and Health Canada, and we did so on these efforts as well. As an industry, manufacturers know how much people rely on their products, and this is really just one example of how we're pushing ourselves to make products even better. And Wayne, you actually led that member group, and it was an incredible effort supported across the board. I'd just like to ask you to talk a little bit more about the reach of those standards. Yes, but first I'd like to point out that individually, our member companies put product safety in the highest regard as they design their products. As an industry, AHAM and its members are very involved in the product safety development system and the revision process for standards, both here in the United States and around the world. To the extent possible, our companies work to ensure that their their standards are both relevant here in the United States and globally uh, through harmonization. So product standards are just part of the safety system. Absolutely, but our members go well beyond compliance with the standard systems here in the United States. They build a culture of safety into their companies and product safety into all aspects of the design as well as the supply chain. The industry invests heavily in customer service and education in order to reduce the chances of injury and to increase the performance and the value to our consumers. Wayne and Jen, our industry's efforts are working. There are over a billion appliances in use today in Canada and the United States, and these products are used largely without incident. Our consumer research tells us that consumers trust and rely upon their appliances to make their lives better. And in fact, 94% of Americans say that they couldn't live comfortably without their appliances. That's true, Jill. In fact, many significant industry achievements over the past decade provide benefits for consumers and the environment. You might first think of advancements centered on energy efficiency and environmental concerns, but none is more important than product safety. Exactly, Jen, and these technological advancements help our products work smarter, faster, and more efficiently. And there's a greater range of choices that are available for the consumers than there's ever been before. In such areas as features and functionality and size and, and finish of the products, appliance manufacturers never stop working to make their products better so that the consumers' lives are easier. Great points. Thanks, Jen and Wayne, for joining in the conversation today. AHIM has a wealth of consumer safety information online at aham.org, including consumer safety tips. Thank you for joining us today.